Get another homegrown. Josh is a midfielder forward. Uh, had a solid year playing 12 league games this year with for Subiaco, including the winning grand final. So uh, had an ankle and hamstring injury, which forced him to miss the uh, half the year, including the state under 18 championships. Ticks all the boxes, as you mentioned, athletically uh, with his speed and endurance. Uh, being a real strength, so again, he, he runs close to a 10 minute for three kilometres and and does a 14.5 beep. So, uh, and the great thing about Josh is he's viewed as professional and driven. So, welcome to the club, mate. Get closer. So, uh, I noticed this morning when we introduced you to the group and uh, you've gone back to your to your seat and you know, I mentioned that you you know come from Subiaco and that you're a premiership player and. I saw Ryan Crowley and Dave Mundy pat each other on the back, as in they're Subiaco Premiership players as well. So you obviously would have no doubt had a very special time with with the flag. You know, how, how did it feel? Oh, it was it was a truly like great experience. I I can't thank the club enough for the experience and the opportunity. Um, playing against well, great players at East Perth and with the boys at Subi was a um, great experience as well, and they taught me a lot. Um, uh, after we went out to train, Ryan Crowley and um, David Mundy came up to me and they were telling me how they're also Premiership players with Subi and like, yeah, it was a, it was really yeah. nice and yeah. Um, yeah, getting around them, so yeah. Yeah, I liked it. Great. And describe how it felt when your name was read out. So you're you're at your dad's place. Yeah, I was at my dad's house with um, with uh, my girlfriend and all my closest mates. There was about six of them and uh, my uncle, my dad, and fans of some family and. Well, getting to the later stages of the draft, it was getting pretty intense. I was sweating quite a bit, uh, <laughs> but the um, when I when they read out Fremantle pick 68, my girlfriend just squeezed my arm because and uh, yeah, everyone I was just kind of like listening in because they obviously want me to stay home. Um, when my name was read out, it was just a truly like, a great experience. Like when everyone just starts cheering and you just feel it's just so exciting knowing that. You go into such a great club, and you get to stay home and yeah. pursue a career like a dream, like that you've been wanting to do your whole life. So yeah, great. And I had the pleasure to uh, to uh, visit your home on Friday, and your mum answered the door. Your mum Laura answered the door, and she was she was decked out in purple. Um, <laughs> so what had she been up to that morning? Oh yeah, well mum, I mean, mum got around it pretty quick. She she went out for morning tea with some of the ladies, and uh, her friends, and. The theme was, uh, you know, we're pur we're purple, and you know, yeah. the, the, she's uh, really um, proud and happy that I'm staying home, and she's uh, yeah, really excited to be a new Freo member, yeah. I guess. Yeah, great. And describe yourself as a player. I guess um, I'm real hardworking and a committed player who puts himself up, or puts the team before himself at any point during the game. Um, I guess I pride myself on my defensive pressure and my running. Um, but yeah, I guess that's about it. Right. Thank you. Open the floor. Josh, Jared Schofield, how much influence on you this season? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, Scoey, he, he's just so knowledgeable. He knows so much about the game and he picks up things I would, would have never seen. And he really um, he just guided me in like, the right direction. He really believed in me, and which gave me the confidence to you know, step up. So yeah, I can't thank him enough for the opportunity and the support he gave me during the year. Subiaco, sort of the, the strength of the side was really around having such a spread of talent and that, that team for the stop attitude. Do, do you feel that set you up perfectly for, for coming here where those are the key messages? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. They um, it's it's always team first with Subiaco, and I also noticed that their professionalism has definitely rubbed off on me and. I can I notice it coming here with the level of professionalism here. I just find little things that I notice like have helped me transition into the AFL environment. Little things like even Pav today said he doesn't like people when they he doesn't like showing you know you know body language. You want to keep the you know you want to stay like stay up and you know like little things like that just around the club. It's the same sort of attitude we had back at Subiaco and I'm just. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy it and that's just the way I've been taught, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, how tough was it to miss the under-18 championship? Oh, it was, um, yeah, it was really devastating, especially it was the week before in a trial game. I tore a ligament in my ankle, so um, yeah, I, there wasn't much I could do about it. I, all I just thought was 
I just want to work hard to get back into it and I guess the rest of the season when I did come back that would be my mini carnival you know in some respects so I just wanted to put my best foot forward and give my best shot you know because I knew it would be more of a challenge to get picked up so Obviously, the, the later of the four draft picks, do you, do you feel you're as well placed as the other boys to try and break in for the bit next year? Um, yeah, I guess what uh, Ross has said as well. He they say that once you're on the list, it you're on the list. It doesn't matter what pick you were. Um, obviously, they they earned their spots and their picks. Um, but yeah, I just feel I feel like I'm just one of the players now, and I'm just going to put my best foot forward and give myself the best opportunity, like I'm sure everyone else will. And anyone that you'll model yourself on amongst this current team or, or try and keep an eye on? Oh, I don't know. They're, we've got a great bunch of players within the group. I, I, I don't know who I'll name specifically, but I know I really look up to players such as um, obviously Pavlich being the captain and uh, Nat Fife, Stephen Hill, and Valentine and Walters in a similar sort of position. So, yeah.